Hi, and welcome to this video. Today we'll be looking at a Zendesk Jira integration use case with a very customized workflow. Uh, the requirements are basically on your screen, but I'll give you a high level view. So anything, any comments arriving from Jira must appear as internal notes in Zendesk. It's a pretty standard use case. The second one is a bit special where when Jira is sending comments back to Zendesk, only those comments should be sent back which start with these words. Any other comments would not be synced back to Zendesk. And obviously, whatever will be synced back would come over as internal notes. The third one is that there's a rich text field called environment in Jira, which should hold the organization information and the Zendesk ticket number. And both these things are arriving from the Zendesk site. In addition to that, we want to have a many to one sync whereby multiple Zendesk tickets can be linked to the same Jira issue. Uh, we'll do that with the added caveat that the environment field would be continue to be populated with all the latest tickets which are linked right okay so let's get this started uh, let's just create a basic ticket to get things moving and on this basic ticket all i want to check is uh, the comments behavior right whether the correct comments are arriving and uh, the transactions are going both ways. So I'll exhalate this over to uh, the Jira end. Just give it a few seconds to sync over. Right, we got our ticket. And there won't be anything special right now. It's just a normal ticket. The only thing is that the ORG information, the Delco and the ticket number 1291, these are the two things which are coming over from out here, right? You can bring any field if you want, but this this was the specific requirement. Right, now, to test the comment behavior. So I've made a comment one. I'll make a comment two. And just for good measure, I will make a comment three. So you should have guessed by now, the only comment I expect to arrive back in uh, in Zendesk is this one with the proper acronym. So the only comment which arrives back is this one and it arrives as a uh, internal note. Uh, just to check the two-way if it's going properly. So I'll just create another comment out here and this should reflect back on Jira pretty normally. So that's a little bit of comment customization that uh, we did. Now let's move to our main use case which is uh, to do with the many to one, uh, sorry, the many to one syncing from Zendesk to Jira. Just waiting for my comment, just give it a second. Cool, so there's my comment four and everything looks in order. Right, so let's get this many to one started. For that, I need a main master ticket, so I'm just gonna call this master bug ticket, which would actually be the driver, which would actually create uh, the Jira issue. And I'm going to use the same connection so that all the rules that we spoke about earlier, they're all still applicable. So let's just exhalate it again and give it a few seconds. Right, so it's synchronized to 286. And yeah, the usual information has come over and the comments behavior would be exactly the same. But that's not what we're looking for out here. What we're looking for out here is to create a child ticket and link it to exactly the same bug. So for that, you would need to populate the bug number in any field within Zendesk. I've used the Jira ticket field. And let's exhalate this over as well. Right, as expected, this would have gone and linked up to CM286, that's fine. If we uh, refresh CM286, it should have uh, the new ticket information appended to the environment field, right? Okay, let's create a third one just for good measure. Apologies. And let's place the Jira ticket number there again. So again, once we exhalate it, you get the idea it would link up to the same uh, Jira bug, the main issue which we created earlier. Right, so we'll do the same. We'll refresh uh, the main bug ticket. 
and that should now contain information about all three of them. Cool. Right. So let's get started. So I will make a comment one similarly like I did last time. I will make a comment two, which should go over. And just for good measure, I will make a comment three, which should not go over. So this comment, which will go over, will go over as internal note, and it should go to all the tickets which are there. So child two gets it. Uh, child one is still waiting. And the main ticket, the, the main bug ticket also gets it. Child one should also have it. Okay, there you go. So child one also gets it. And yet, so the same behavior applies. Now, any updates going from this side to that side would uh, be fine. So any uh, comments you make would appear as public on the Jira issue. Lastly, you can just change the Jira issue to in progress. And how I've set this up is that the Zendesk tickets would change to pending. But again, the thing is that all three of them, all the linked issues will change back to pending. So still waiting for that to trigger. Okay, the main one is done. Uh, child one is still waiting. Child two is done. And child one is done. And yeah, this continues. Uh, so if it, if it goes to done out here, I think uh, how I program this is to be solved in Zendesk. Uh, right. So I hope you enjoyed the use case. I'll attach the code snippets of how this is done uh, with the video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.